Hello, this is Joe with what? Cut a squad long hair. Um so the end the end of December will be my last mows mowing. Some customers are they want me to still come because they got leaves, so they just want you to cut up the leaves and stuff. Um Make sure you watch my last video on how I do the, um, not a leaf job. I would say mowing bag job. Well, leaf and bag job. Instead of out there with the, with the rake, you know, like we back in 1950, I just, you know, blow all the leaves into the yard, run them over, get them small as you can. Not small as you can, get, chop them up, get them to where you know, the leaves are smaller and then you put the bagger up there, bag, and then that's when you ride over with the mower and bag them, bag them, throw them on the tarp. That way you don't got to fight with the bag. And after you throw them on the tarp, you can shimmy them in. And this video is going to be, I told you I want to do story time. I told you I want to do story time. This video is going to be on then I got two the craziest stories. This is one of them. So I can't, I, I, I don't know if I want to say names in this story. So it's this lady house we cut. I, 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 matter of fact, I cut her house now. This is, she's one of my, she's my, one of my VIP customers. We cut her house now. I mean, we cut her, I cut her house now. But when I was working with this company, we cut her house, but she said, forget them. She said, I'm gonna let Joe, I want you to cut my house. So we cut her house now. Uh, she was, she, the thing was, she was paying that company $25. She pays me more than double to cut her house. They was cutting it for 25, you know. Hey, she's paying me double that. You know, the, more than double, excuse me, more than double. Double with a little uh, on the side. Um, <laughs> so we go, so. Me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say names forget it. Me and Charles. So Charles is one day Charles can be a good worker. The next day, Charles, you'd be like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> he's one of those workers. Like one day you look, he's busting his tail. You're like, oh my God, this gonna be he's gonna be worker of the year. The next day, I don't I think it was the anybody y'all know what that means. The, I think it was that. <laughs> I caught him doing it in the truck too. But uh, I think it was that. I think that, I don't know. I know, I think it was that because he would forget stuff. He, I mean, one time he was weedy. He was on the mower. He forgot uh, the back, to cut the backyard. He loaded the mower up and everything. I'm like, dude, you didn't even cut the backyard. He's like, oh, that's right. My bad, my bad, Joe, my bad. I'm like, are you serious right now? How do you, what? Anyway, <laughs> so we go to this lady house. We go to her house. Now, her fence, her fence is, she got her fence further in. Her property line stands, this is her fence. Her property line is like over here. Her property line is like another four feet. So you, we were riding the moors on that four feet of land, that four feet that she left right there to get into these double back gates. You get into the double back gates and um so you can go back there and cut her backyard so we we <laughs> love the weedy i am a weedy master now i used to be i used to be i'm talking about like a weedy like a weedy master i can't really weedy like that because of this this right here so i really i only got I think I got like 95% feeling in my hand. A lot of times my hand will go numb. The tips of my fingers go numb. When it rains, my hand feels weird. And when it gets real cold, my hand cramps. That's because I still got nerve damage from when somebody shot me with a gun. Okay, okay. So put that in this perspective. So I'm weeding. My, a lot of times my hands, my hands start hurting too. Like right in here start hurting. It's just... It's just something you gotta deal with. Life goes on, right? <laughs> so like, really, I'm really out here handicapped cutting y'all grass. <laughs> oh. So we, I, we, I, no, 
I think I was weeding the front yard. Yeah, I was weeding the front yard. Charles, Charles. So the late the the neighbor shed is on her property. On the on the lady we cut property, maybe a foot, maybe a foot. So Charles goes to go back there to cut. I'm weeding the front. Charles goes back there. He drives back there on the four feet. I, from what I heard, the neighbor started yelling at him. Hey, you ride your mow on my property. That's when our customer, she comes out and they start arguing. So I would tell, okay, so I, I, I didn't know nothing about this. So by the time I'm done finishing the front yard, cause she's got a lot of obstacles in the yard, in the front yard. You got to weed it along the other side of the fence. She's got, she's got beds. Every, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work weed eating. So by the time I get to the backyard, I got to weed it along that, that fence that, you know, that's four, that's four feet from the neighbor thing. So I'm weed eating and I get to the backyard and I go around to go into double gates. I'm weeding up. She's got a shed. She's got like, I mean, I think she's got three sheds in the backyard. I think she's a hoarder. <laughs> so I go to, I'm weeding. I just hear Charles say, Joe. I'm like, huh? So what's that name? Joe. I'm like, yeah. I think what I, I think I had headphones on or I had earplugs and I can't remember. I heard somebody call my name. I turn around. Joe, dude. I turn around. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I have to cuss because it's gonna make it funny. He say, Miss Such and Such, her name, I ain't gonna say her name. She just slapped the shit out of the neighbor. I said, what? I said, what? I said, stop. I said, Charles, stop playing with me. He said, dude, I'm not joking. She slapped her and then she then she sprayed a uh, wasp spray in her face. I said, I said, I just walked past her. She didn't act like, it didn't look like she slapped anybody. They say, no, bro, dude, I am scared. Neighbors, the neighbors threatened to call the police and everything get, to get us for trespassing. And then she's going to, she's going to, I guess she's going to call the police on her too. She's going to call the police. He was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if we keep cutting or we leave. I'm like, I'm like, so she really slapped the lady? He said, yes, yes. I'm, he, I said, how? He said, she said, I, next thing I know, bow. I was like, what? I said, there's no way that lady's 84, 80 something years old. There's no way this lady slapped this 40 year old lady. There's no way. She's double her age. There's no way she slapped her. There's no way. I said, Charles, stop playing. There ain't no way she slapped her. He said, no, dude, she slapped the sh out of her. I said, he said, what we do? I was like, just keep mowing. I just, just hurry. Let's hurry up and finish the yard. So by the time we get done, we loading everything up. Charles, Charles is like, dude, I am. The lady comes, our customer comes out, hand us the check, drinks, tip and everything. Like nothing happened. So then the neighbor, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. No lie. Her face right here had a red handprint. I was like, she really slapped her. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, dude, did you see her face? He said, yeah. He said, dude, I'm scared. He said, I'm about to call, I'm about to call, uh, I'm about to call our boss, I'm about to call our boss. She was like, I'm calling the police on you right now. Oh um, my, I was like, I like, she was like, I'm calling the police. And all I saw was a big red handprint right here. I was like, oh, I thought Charles was lying. I didn't think he was lying, but I didn't know he, she slapped her that hard that it left. I'm talking about it was like this. Like, I was like, I, I was like, she, I said her face is red with a red handprint up there. Charles was like, yeah, I told you she slapped me out of her. I said, that's crazy. He was like, yeah. Then he started telling me. He said, yeah. The neighbor got mad because I was go I was going back there, and she and the and our customer came out and started. They started yelling. They got in each other's face. He said I had to go and break it. He said I got up. Charles is a big dude. He's like six three, skinny, but he's like six three, six four. So he like got in between, try to like he got up and was like, hey. He said the neighbor got in her face. I think he said he. 
I don't think he got up and tried to break it up. I can't remember. I think he got up and was like, hey, y'all need to calm down. And next thing you know, our customer, what? Hit her. Charles said her head did a little, <laughs> did a little jerk. He said, and that's how you know, she she went to spraying with the bug spray. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, bro. I don't know if that's assault with a deadly weapon or not. This is one of, this is the customer. This is one of my favorite customers with that company. And this is one of my favorite customers now, but I could not believe it. I was like, yo, Drew, rest in peace, Drew. See Drew over here. Rest in peace, Drew, right there. Drew said, she's one of them customers, not crazy, but would speak her mind. She do not care. Like, one time, Joe, your weed eating, it looks terrible. I'm going to be honest with you, Joe. The weed eating looks terrible. I remember she told me, she said, the weed eating, is, she said, the weed eating looks terrible. It don't look good. You know? Now, she come up, that's a little too honest. You could have said, Joe, you know, you do the weed eating a little better. But she told me that your weed eating, that weed eating, the weed eating you just did is trash. She told me. Kind of hurt my feelings, but... <laughs> But she would, she would tell you, she would tell you. So she was like, you know, she'll tell you, hey, it you, you, you didn't look good last time. Even this year, I cut her yard. This is back when the grass was growing like crazy. I cut her yard on, she likes her grass cut low as possible. I think I cut it on two and a half. So it can last two weeks. It didn't last because the grass was growing like crazy. She called me up, Joe. The yard has already grew back. Like, what is going on? Did you like? Did you cut it on the same height? Yeah. Well, it grew back already. It's not looking good. I need you to come out here and take a look at it. So I went out there and took a look at it. She was like, "What is going on? Why is my yard growing like like? I couldn't. I don't really know why your yard is growing like that. Cause you got weeds and it's hot and I don't know. <laughs> she she was like, "Well, I don't I don't like that answer. Like, I couldn't I couldn't really tell her. Look, it, it's just growing. Okay." But yeah, that is the time she slapped. She didn't backhand her, but she slapped her. And I missed it. I was so mad I missed it. So basically, they boil down to it. The police did go. I think the police did go out there or something happened. So the lady, so the lady had to move her shed on her property because remember it was on her property for it was on her property a foot on her on the our customer property so she had to move it a foot over we came back you see that they slid the shed i don't know how they did it but they slid the shed over and and, and the crazy thing is these people are cousins this is <laughs> so <laughs> these people are cousins so it's just like you know and now they don't even speak anymore i mean i think they spoke a little bit but now they don't they don't even speak so i guess i guess if somebody die it, you know we just ain't gonna speak no more and that's sad but yeah so that is one of the craziest times fun time but real crazy of uh mowing i got then i got i got one more real crazy time i might drop it in february uh, cause I gotta see how this video gonna do with views. But the one time the dude was about to fight me, like squared up with me. This is uh, the neighbor. It's always the neighbors. The neighbor squared up with me. You know what that means? He put his fists up and was about to fight me over some grass clippings that I didn't even do. I didn't even do the grass clippings. He was gonna fight me over it. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Like. I think this was this was the same year where the uh our customers slapped the neighbor. So it was just it's just neighbors. But this is Joe with Cutter Squad Lawn Care. Let me know if you like the story times and leave in the comments your craziest one of your craziest uh lawn care stories. Make it make it short and sweet. Look, the neighbor cussed me out, threatened to shoot me, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I can't believe that that 80 year old lady left a hand mark on her face. This was, this is, so she's she's older than 80 something. She's like, what? She's probably like 87 now. So it was, I think she was like 85, 84, 85 at the time. This is three, this is three years, three, three, four years ago? Three or four years ago, yeah. When I was working with the company. Ah! And I missed it, I'm mad.